Ja, 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 I um I I really need some inspiration on that part because I've I feel like I just lost my track in terms of uh. you know fapping and stuff. So, <laughs> can, <laughs> so yeah, I'm here with Charlie Rufu. It's a good pronouncing, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, and you're from the Social Zebras, which is like a um, self-development group here in Switzerland. Yeah. Um, so what is uh, can, can you can you tell me a little bit about the group, how you all got together, and yeah, w what is it all about? Yeah. So firstly, it's a, a mastermind slash person personal development group. So we meet like once a week to grow, like in different areas of your of our lives. You have like guys that have a lot of knowledge in uh, in gym, in working out, in in business, in dating, for example and in, in other things. Mm -hmm. So we can come together and we work on ourselves, we share our goals, our passions, our, our desires, mm -hmm. our books that we are reading and basically everything. We have deep talks, we are also really vulnerable you know, um, mm -hmm. with each other mm -hmm. and it's just like an authentic way to grow. Mm -hmm. So we meet once a week and once a week, one of our members has a, has a presentation, has a PowerPoint presentation. Mm -hmm. And after the presentation, we have a discussion over, over this topic. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is that the person that has this presentation has some experience in, 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 that, in, in that, that topic, yeah. exactly in that field. So then you can push each other exactly in that field and every week you get, you get some knowledge. And besides, we also do like this, perhaps you know, this uh, comfort zone crush challenges. Mm. We go out, we do like stand-up comedy or wow. improv cool. theater. And yeah, it's a really cool way to grow. Because as Jim Rohn says, the motivational speaker, you're the average of the five people you hang out the most. Mm. Uh, this is, yeah. Change you. Exactly. Yeah, it's ex you like them. yeah, it's an extremely good way to change. Mm. Because not, not many people know that, but we have like this mechanism in our brain called harmonizing. Mm. I read that in the book of uh, Matthew Lieberman, it's called Social. Yeah, I read that book. Amazing yeah, book. Mm. Amazing book. Mm. And he says that you have this mechanism called harmonizing. Mm. This mechanism is made that 100,000 years ago when we first lived in groups, mm. we had groups of like 100 and 150 people. So mm. to save our survival, we had to live like in these in this groups. Mm. So every time when we live in a certain group, we have to fit in. So mm. this mechanism automatically takes in the values and the beliefs of our peer group so we fit in and we stay the same. Mm. So when you consciously change your peer group, you mm. will consciously change yourself. Mm. If you consciously stay in your old peer group, you will more or less stay the same. Mm. You can like force you like to read books and to read to uh, you to have listen. Input in other ways. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To do that, but if you change also your peer group, like besides, you will grow like much faster. Mm. So, so the, the whole goal is basically to, to have a space where you can develop in a very, very profound way, basically. Yeah, it's, it sounds like you guys have like, um, uh, you have a very creative approach to this, to this group. Like you said, you're doing stand-up things, stand-up comedy, and you're going out of your comfort zone from time to time doing um, public speaking. Mm. Wow, I just, uh, <laughs> I feel like I really want to be a part of this, uh, <laughs> this right now, so yeah. How, how could I start like something, something similar to Social Zebras in Norway? So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good question. So the first thing I could say is that don't be overwhelmed. But mm. Because you are now have like 20 or 30, yeah, well, 30 members mm. and we have a YouTube channel, we do all this stuff, we have an own room. You don't need that if you want to start. Mm. I remember when we started we had like five or six guys that met every week in, in Starbucks basically and we just talked. We, mm. we didn't record anything or something, we just like talked. And then when people join you evolve and the, the whole club like grows on itself, the, mm. the club unfolds. Mm. So what you can do is Firstly, uh, go into Facebook groups of perhaps books you have read or Facebook groups of some, no idea, YouTube channel and stuff mm. and search people uh, that live like in, in Norway mm. and just meet them like besides, connect with them, spend time with them together mm. and then like slowly but surely you can meet like once a week on the same place and then like it will, it will like uh, evolve. Mm. I will not rush, I will just like take it step by mm. step. But what I would do is I would like 
ask as many people as possible, putting the message out there, because there are actually a lot of people that do like personal development, mm. but they are too shy to ask, or they think that, 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 that they are alone. Mm. The funny thing is, at the convention too, at the Lifestyle Design Convention, I've met a, a woman, she's exactly from the same village a, as me, mm. and she knows me from like years uh, before, oh. but I've never met her. Okay. And she was like, ah, you're the guy from, from the gym, <laughs> like, and my village has like 1,000 people, you know? Oh. And she's like, yeah, I have read Think and Grow Rich and all this, all this stuff, you know, it's uh, it's so funny. Just put the message out there. Mm. Okay, so how how do you manage to to have this um, this engagement, this this connection in the social zebras that makes everybody meet up every single time and uh, really just connects everybody? Is there something like fundamental there, some values? Is there anything that keeps you together? A yeah, cool question because. Mm. Uh, for me, like a big value in social zebras is that we are really authentic. Mm. And this is really cool. If you, if you come to our meetings, like we share our mistakes and where we want to improve, and you're just really honest and authentic. Mm. And yeah, we like that nobody has a mask on and everybody knows that we have our little problems and we can ask for help and we always work on each other. Mm. So this gives us a, a big, big feeling of connection. Mm. Also, studies have shown that if friendships go through a lot of um, adversity, mm. the friendship gets, gets really strong. Stronger. Even we two now doing this interview, we are probably a bit nervous. Mm. So then after the interview, we will be even bigger friends because we went through this, through this adversity. Mm. And with social zeros, it's the same because we go on stage on stand-up comedy, we do things like, uh, per perhaps you know it, PowerPoint karaoke. Mm. Uh, and we film each other, we do awesome, All funny stuff. Exactly. And this like, gives us this, this huge feeling of connection because the, my best friends in social zebras, they, they saw me like when I was really happy, when I was tired, like right now, when I was stressed, mm. when I was nervous, when I was in love, and they see me and we go through all these emotions and mm. this keeps us like really, really connected. Mm. So you, you kind of get to see each other from all of these types of perspectives and that again really, uh, it makes it much easier for you to know the other person if you, if you see him or her in so many different settings. One of our biggest values too is, uh, yeah, values is to give value actually. Mm. We really always think like, shoot out to our member uh, Henrik. He's all about giving value. He's a super cool guy, always giving value, giving value. And I learned that from him. So mm. yeah, we try to always increase our quality of the club. Mm. Yeah, I really noticed that with, with your personality as well. You're always like, yeah, hey, dude. <laughs> Hey, dude. Hey, broski, that's so awesome. Nice, nice. Yeah, you always have this like positive charm around mm -hmm. you, which is very um, relieving, and uh, it's just just very um, like like instantly when I met you like yesterday, you seemed like a very familiar guy, mm -hmm. and I don't know if that has something to do with you and me chatting one time over live cam. Yeah. I don't know, maybe that has something to do mm -hmm. with it, but uh, I think also it has something to do with that you, you guys have this culture and you're used to like supporting people from like day one. Yeah. So uh, a f thing I wanted to add to that, thanks for the kind words, mm -hmm. is that the thing that we do in social zebras or I in general, I always hug people, you know, mm -hmm. also, also guys. Some guys don't like it because if, mm -hmm. they think that's gay. Yeah. But it's like some really cool way to get to know people better and to mm -hmm. share them some love. Basically it sounds cheesy, but mm -hmm. it's a, you can, yeah, you can um, start a big connection like that. Just hugging. Yeah, man. <laughs> awesome. You do like that. One on one, hugging people. No, it's cool, man. I really love it. It's amazing. Not a lot of people do it. So, yeah, just like be uh, authentic uh, right from the start. Uh, that's something really, really cool. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for watching this interview. This was actually the one and only interview that I got to create together with the Social Zebra guys in Switzerland when I was at the. Um, when I was at the Lifestyle Design Convention. The one and only. <laughs> I had planned to do so many more interviews, but I don't know, time just flew by and stuff happened and yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that was the only interview. There, there's gonna be a part two of this interview. It's quite a long interview, so you can check out that. I'll upload it in a couple of days, I guess. Um, and you will see more of Charlie because Charlie is an amazing dude. <laughs> You can find his channel, the link to his channel, down in the description below. Uh, this is a guy that knows a lot about self-development, guys. So absolutely make sure to check him out. Uh, yeah, 
I think I better get back to work. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you liked this video or any of my other videos. If you have any questions or requests, you can feel free to leave that in the comments below and I'll answer you there. I also hope that this video brought you some tips and got you some steps closer to releasing your limitless potential. Um, yeah, stay tuned guys. See you later. Bye.